Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you a short overview of how to get started using Microsoft Flip, formerly known as Flipgrid. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to use it. So first of all, you can still log in using your existing Flipgrid credentials, or you could sign up for an entirely new account. In this case here, I'm gonna go ahead and log in using my existing credentials. And you'll see that if you already had things in Flipgrid, you already had groups and topics in Flipgrid, they're still there. Those haven't gone away. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how to create a group. If you're new to using Microsoft Flip, Think of your group as your classroom and your topic as the things you want your students to discuss. So we're going to go ahead and select group and we're going to create a group. Let's call this one Mr. Burns U.S. History Fall 2022. And we can edit this theme if we like. We can go ahead and you know, pick a nature theme or a people theme, textures. Or you can upload your own picture if you like. I kind of like this one, so I'm going to use that as my theme. There we have it. Now, I can invite members, or I can use this option here for anyone with a link can join the group. Or I can say, only people I approve. I can also use my Google Classroom if I have my Google Classroom account connected. I'm going to go ahead and say for this one that anyone with the link can join up. So let's create our group. And we'll see here there's Mr. Burns U.S. History Fall 2022 group, and I can invite people by giving them this link. I can put it in Google Classroom. I can embed it into an existing web page if I like using that embed code. Put it on Microsoft Teams. I can even send it in Remind or tweet it out. You'll also notice I have a little QR code that I can display and have my students scan with their mobile devices. So now let's go ahead and create a topic that we want our students to discuss. So to create the topic, we'll just click on topic and let's create it. And let's say we want my topic title to be share something interesting, interesting, you learned this summer. Or let's shorten it down. Share something interesting you learned. And I want my students to share something interesting you learned over the summer. Now, I can set a recording time for my students of as short as 15 seconds or as long as 10 minutes. I'm gonna leave it at the default one minute, 30 seconds. But before I post this topic, I want to add some media to it. And to do that, I'm going to record my own video talking to my students about this topic. So we'll turn on my camera screen right here. Hey class, it's Mr. Byrne and welcome to our first Flipgrid discussion of the year. To kick off our Flipgrid group, I would love it if you would share with me and your classmates something interesting that you learned this summer. It doesn't have to be something that's necessarily about U.S. history. But that would be great if it is. Just share something interesting you learned this summer that is school appropriate. And you'll see there, I can then stop that recording, click the next button. 
I can play the Mr. Brooks. And now I'm going to use that as my cover photo. So you can see here, I could edit my cover photo by uploading a picture, taking a selfie, or selecting a different frame from the video. In this case here, I'm going to leave it as is and let's submit it. And it will now upload that video for students to play before they record their responses. And let's post that topic for the class. And now my class has a link directly to this topic where again, I can copy the link and paste it anywhere I want my students to access it. I can get a big QR code and have them scan it that way or put it into any of these other platforms, including Google Classroom and Microsoft Teams. So there's that link. And let's now take a look at the student view of this topic and how they can respond to it. So my student will see the topic just like this. And it's going to say, join with your Microsoft or join with your Google account. I'm going to say that my student here is going to join in. I'm going to use my student Max. And Max will see this option now to add a response. And we're going to have Max now respond to this prompt. To respond, Max just clicks add a response, allows his camera and microphone to be used, and loads it up. Here's Max. This summer, I learned that I will get in trouble if I eat out of the garbage can. And so there's Max. This and Max can edit his cover photo or leave it as is and post the topic. And he even has his own link to share that video. Get that by just clicking on create link. Now, We'll go back to the teacher side here, and we'll see that Max has submitted a video. And we'll see that that video is active and all group members can view it, or I can hide it here as the teacher. You can see I can also go over to the right-hand side where I can download that video, I can delete it, I can move it to another topic, I can add it to a mixtape, which is a greatest hits of videos in Microsoft Flip, or I can edit it as well. And I can go here as a teacher, watch Max's video this summer, and I can add a public comment right here, or I can post a private comment and say, great video, thanks for sharing and I can send that off as well. And we'll see that that is a private note. So that's a short overview of how to get started using Microsoft Flip in your classroom. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.